Okay, guys, so I just actually want to show you again. Obviously, I haven't done a video for approximately a fortnight, so possibly even longer than that. It's not too particularly sure. But obviously, mathematically, it was the 14th of December, so now it's the 1st of January. Happy New Year to everyone. I hope you've had a very, very brilliant Happy New Year and a very, very Merry Christmas as well. I really sincerely, well, regardless, say, uh, wish you that, please. And, um, guys, uh,. Today, obviously, 1st January, I get to do the prize draw for the competition. Obviously, December 2014, metal detecting competition. The one where the thumbnails, the e-track, well, basically with text on it saying December competition or whatever. Um, yeah, yeah, guys, uh, as you can see, I'm wearing my um, XP cap, generously donated to me by Sid from, obviously, Clodhopper's Metal Detecting Club. Obviously, uh, on YouTube, give a, I'll give a shout-out to him, as I did in the last video, the comp well, not my last video, but the co competition video that I uploaded 26th of November. So it's been a fair while, I mean, it's been a month, <laughs> and now the draw is brilliant. But this, guys, is going to be uploaded, hopefully, on the 1st of January 2014. And uh, I hope 2015 will be a brilliant year for all all you detectorists out there. A very lucky uh, year indeed, obviously. Uh, a few hammered coins, well, a lot of hammered coins, Roman coins, and pocket spills of silver. I really hope that for all of you. But so, guys, all I have to say before the competition starts, um, thanks for all those entries. I think there were like six entries. One I had to put a cancellation to because it was American, so I put UK only on the end of the uh, video. Obviously, because you know, can't exactly because of the ta taxation issues, if you like. But um, yep, nice XP um, metal. There has been a, a slight cancellation due to uh, obviously due, uh, for the January and February competitions due to obviously a uh, difference in it. So guys, instead of that, I'm actually going to put. I'm actually going to uh, put uh, this cap. Um, a mine lab key ring and the mine lab CTX thirty thirty badge. Uh, when I get two hundred and fifty subscribers, then I'll do a competition when I get five hundred. Then after that, I'll do one when obviously I get a thousand, seven hundred and fifty. So and then so on and so forth. So uh, guys, if I ever do that, <laughs> that is obviously. But uh, fifty eight subscribers moment at least billion. But um, hopefully I'll get more. So please subscribe if you can. Uh, I'll hopefully have a few live digs in the field and recoveries in the field eventually well this year I'll have loads because uh, on my permission uh, situated between House Owen and Clint Hills we've actually found another field that the farmers let us do which is a ploughed field uh, just been cropped actually because it used to be a there was cord on it before so he's um he's uh, taken the plant uh, corn from there so we can detect it obviously a uh, brilliant opportunity opportunity for me obviously because it's even nearer to our zone than we thought uh, than we previously thought but so guys uh, so the winning uh, person was um, Rich was it Richard Bacon no it's Jamie sorry Jamie Welfare Jamie Welfare okay uh, well good luck Jamie because you've actually just won the prize. Uh, unfortunately, it's not going to be a first, second, and third prize because there weren't enough entries. But uh, it's going to be a whole prize together for the actual. So, so Jamie Welfare, Jamie, you've done it. Uh, you've won. Uh, the actual number was fourteen thousand two hundred seventy-nine, and you got uh, fourteen thousand two hundred sixty. And miraculous nineteen off. Uh, seems though you can put a number between one and twenty thousand, which is a particularly large range to do such a thing. Uh, so you've done that. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. Nice uh, XP hat, seeing as though I'm actually using a uh, second-hand XP Gomex power from eBay. Brilliant machine, actually picks up very small hammers uh, and great recovery speed between iron and nails and so on and so forth, if you like. But so uh, unfortunately not so good in deep iron. But so I'll get into that later on a, on a uh, future video. Futuristically, of course, 2015 is going to be a brilliant year with Detective Monster Uh So, Jamie, you've won a Mine Lab cap. Very nice indeed, uh, packaged already. Um, Mine Lab keyring, as you can see there. Particularly nice, has Mine Lab logo on. And a CTX 3030 badge. No doubt to put on uh, your favourite t shirt for detecting or something like that. Uh, obviously, proud that you probably don't own a Mine Lab uh, 
piece of equipment because many people go for the dices instead of the tracks. Well, I'd personally go for the track actually because it goes a lot deeper. Uh, unfortunately, but yeah, mine lab. Uh, I found it brilliant. Sorry, XP, but I got a second hand uh, gold max for three hundred and fifty pounds. So brilliant. Um. So yeah, Jamie, you can have to send me my details. Uh, hopefully you're watching this video. If not, then I'll make an alternative draw where the second, well, the runner-up will get the prize instead. But God, Jamie, if you're watching this, please um s email me my de uh, your details at oliverprice123 at hotmail.co.uk. If you can do that, that would be perfectly brilliant. Sure to see that's my last name. <laughs> Realistically, but uh, I don't particularly mind giving that away because it doesn't particularly matter. As obviously many people people's username is on YouTube. They have their first and second name, obviously last name, surname. So yes, but Jamie, you're uh, the owner of these three items now, and uh, brilliant, you've won the prize. And uh, Garrett also sent me for obviously contribution and participation in a, an event that they held. This letter, obviously, I think you just saw that. Badge, uh, 50 years celebrating that, but unfortunately it's 2015 today. But that was last year's, as you can see, obviously it's in opposition because of the camera. But celebrating Garrett's 50 years from 1964, my the day my dad was born, strangely enough. But so, uh, yeah, no, nice letter for contribution. Never won the 80 gold, but uh, nice if I did because I entered my uh, hammered coin of Edward I, but didn't get it. <coughs> But Jamie, I'll put all the descriptions in the comment section if you if I was actually talking too fa fast for you, and I'll um obviously I'll send you a message on YouTube, and you have to have your subscription uh, settings public, obviously, otherwise I won't be able to do it. But um, brilliant, Jamie, you've won the competition. <coughs> brilliant, Jamie, you've won it. Jamie, you've won it. All these are uh, very indeed very nice items. But guys, tomorrow I should be having my hair cut. It's getting fairly long momentarily. And uh, additionally, I'll be going to um, Bibby's Farm. That's what their names are. Anyway, um, with the hair f uh, on the plowed field, obviously. Just going to see what we can find. It's even near Halzo, even nearer to Halzo than we first expected. And guys, I went on that field, another field, and I found a musket ball, a pen knife, and obviously, what else was it? A buckle, iron buckle. Fairly nice, so... Uh, Georgian, possibly even Victorian, possibly early 19th century knife. Uh, but uh, fa some fairly nice finds. A pocket spill of 50 pence, pound, 10p was it, and a 5p in a pocket spill of two 1 pence pieces, brilliantly. But uh, I'll be going back there. I'll be showing you footage that I recorded a couple of weeks ago, or a week ago now. Actually, 14th of December, that's more like three weeks ago now. But, uh, yeah, guys, I'll see you in a bit. And, Jamie, please comment and email me and with your address and, uh, obviously, postcode details, and I'll send it to you. And, everybody, I wish you a very, very merry, happy, indeed, very productive New Year for detecting. And I'll see you in a bit. But, hope you had a very merry Christmas. Um, and, uh, in a bit.